Hi, and welcome back to the Rags to Riches Challenge. This is Christy here, and we are back right where we left off with Jenny and the girls who are just eating some tofu tacos. So I'm excited to jump right into it. We will probably have their birthdays. The toddler's birthdays are on Friday, and Jenny's is on Saturday. So we'll see if we get to all three or not, but... Um, looks like our garden, a few plants. Oh, this is growing. Good. Oh, um, we do need to, okay, can't do anything yet. Fitness level three, but for your job, you need to harvest harvestables. And there is a cherry, cherry tree over here. So why don't you go harvest everything? And um, we'll let the girls kind of keep themselves occupied. So make sure you hit that like button. Please subscribe if you've been enjoying this content. And don't forget to leave any comments down below. We have a little bit of money, which, I mean, 800 is really not a lot. So, um, and we're going to have to furnish, like, their big girl rooms. And, um, yeah, we're, they're going to move upstairs. And eventually there'll be, like, a bathroom and everything like that up here, too. But, um, taking it one step at a time. Okay, you have harvested everything good. You did what you needed for your job. So, now what should we have you do? I did want to, actually. I was thinking. Oh, here, why don't you harvest, like, these lemons as well? But now that we have, like, a house house with a roof and a second floor, I was thinking we update the exterior to make it match the neighborhood a little bit better. Like, maybe at least similar color scheme might not be able to do the same style right now, but something that isn't sticking out quite as much. I mean, we could even use like this from, I mean, this would kind of like match. I don't know. I never like look at this type of stuff. I'm terrible with like the outside of buildings, but this one like match like the neighborhood. Or we could go for um, something like this. That would work too. I mean, that's four bucks. Ooh, and the, the stucco is only two dollars, so we could possibly get some money back. Here, let's go with this. I just don't know what. Should we do like a really light? Oh, I kind of like this. Let's try that. I don't think we're going to get any money. No. And we can also change the roof. Yeah, I like that. And do you want to go with that color? There we go. A house that kind of matches slightly with the neighborhood. We don't, we don't stick out as much. It still, still needs a lot of work, but, you know, improvement. And then since we need to make more money to do their bedroom... I think we should make more flower arrangements uh, and see if we can sell some like on the table and then I mean if not and they sell on Plopsy even better um, it just takes longer to get money from Plopsy so let's go by price and anything that I don't have to pay for like some yellow tulips so that would be nice oh and she does want to make a new friend we might have to like get her out of the house like it's all you're almost a full-grown adult you you've met a lot of people but you really only have like sarah and your daughters as friends so um they're a flower arranging level four yay uh so maybe we'll have her like go out tonight and try to meet people we can also go out because she has a few new outfits and once she's done with her arrangement, I'll pop into Cass and show you just a couple. Nothing like super fancy because, you know, we still don't have a lot of money, but she was able to spend a little bit on herself. Oh, beautiful. Okay, we need a vase, like maybe a summer vase. And let's admire your new possession that you made and put in your inventory. Okay, we're going to pop into Cass so you can see a couple new outfits for her. So we have her 
normal everyday outfits that we've had and this is her new one like she's getting a little bit more professional still nothing crazy but I'm sure you know jackets aren't super cheap and then we have the formal is still in just this we haven't had we haven't needed to have any formal attire Athletica updated a little bit and you know a little bit of new hairstyle to pull back sleepwear still the same and this is her I don't remember if I updated this or if it was like that before it's it's been a couple days um, but this is her party wear that swimwear is the same hot weather we have a new outfit so still some shorts and a cute little top that I imagine she found at like a thrift store but still just some flip-flops and then we still have her winter gear which you don't really need a whole lot in Oasis Springs and then I'm thinking depending on how much money we can make if um, it could be a nice birthday treat a little bit of hair removal laser hair removal I imagine maybe spend about a hundred bucks get that taken care of so let's do a yard sale we only made one um, flower arrangement but that's okay and is it it's excellent yes um, so we will try to sell a few like a big thing and I think we might mark up a hundred percent we'll give it a go oh Katrina hey I just wanted to give you some money for your birth for the birthday I missed well you haven't missed it I guess she just can't come on Saturday which it's fine we don't we don't really know Katrina but we will take the money 76 bucks that was nice we've made to level six of charisma okay good I would think that would make us a little bit more successful in selling oh 280 for our flower arrangement yes all right I haven't put any like flowers or small stuff in um, the table inventory so I want to try to get some of this yeah. big stuff like this is a rare plum bite and we have a, I mean a common frog and um, a common fossil but something oh we have socks to sell yay Ooh, 384 and Nancy bought the the plum bite yes okay we need to add a few more things like I don't know I don't want to go through all of like our food that we've harvested because we then we get money um how about foiled spit foiled spoiled fish there we go here maybe someone will buy an empty stinking plate that would be hilarious oh you bought the frog 20 bucks yay okay this has been pretty good we're at 1600 we can at least um get the girl get the toddler some big girl beds when they become children Yard sale is oh. just about over. I mean, it's 10 o'clock. This has lasted a while. So, um, we'll use the toilet and then head out and see who we can meet. Okay. Let's clear the table. Oh, and we need to sell our socks. 57 bucks. That isn't terrible. We still have a couple more things listed. Oh, let's uh, fix the sink first and then we will head out. It's 11 o'clock. Maybe another vampire will show up to do some free babysitting. All right, it is now midnight. We're not going to be able to have a ton of time to try to meet people, but we will try. Because you do have to work in the morning. We're not going far and just to the local bar, and it is ghost night. And that's great. Let's get you into um, one of your new outfits. How about that? I'll let you order a drink and I know your favorite drink is water but you know let's uh, change it up a little bit we could do a sparkling water it'd be fancy but how about a sweet and spicy all right now let's see is there anyone else for you to like meet it's a pretty dead night Thursday night I mean there's Amelia uh, Richards now let's just do a cheerful introduction although I don't think you'd probably be really like friends with her um, yeah, oh, no, pretentious. Uh, what about Jenna, like the Akiyamas? Cheerful introduction. Macy's thinking level five at daycare. Okay, we like each other. Good. We can be friends with Jenna. 
Oh, and Jenna's pregnant. Okay, let's ask about due date. Maybe um, your new baby. Oh, no, that was mischievous. Oh, you're not pregnant. I'm sorry. Okay, but she she liked it. That was um, that did not mean anything about by that. Okay, celebrate your promotion, and then we'll probably have to go. It's two thirty in the morning. Okay, we have a potential new friend. Um, a good start there. And just as you were starting to feel drunk, sloppy drunk. Yes, let's let's get you out of here. All right, hop in the shower, then get to sleep. I bet the girls are wide awake. Yes. Okay, we'll get food out for you too, and um. Just don't wake up mom. Do you make these for a living? Great craftsmanship. I salute you, salute, salute you artisan. Oh yes, we do this sort of for a living. And then um, we need some serious cleaning as well. Always, one day we'll be able to afford a maid. 7 a.m., let's go to work, wake up, and um, we're gonna have you clean up a little bit. Oh, I left this out. That's about to spoil. Sorry. She's a bit hungover from her one drink. Um, four hours. It might be rough to start your shift, but okay, go to work. Um, okay, you're not late. I thought you were very late, um, but you should get promoted and that will be great. We'll get a bonus even better for the house and to hopefully save some. So go do a good job. Greatest grower. Local Green Thumbs are holding a harvest off a speed grow contest to see which horticulturist can produce the biggest and best produce. What does Jenny do? Focus effort on cultivating a fruit finalist or spectate the contest for fun as a farming fan? Um, no, you're going to cultivate. And Jenny entered the contest with confidence. Her entry is going to be the world's largest onion. With careful tending and horticultural secrets, her contest winning onion grew to massive proportions. Jenny, Jenny easily took first place and the onion caused the surrounding area to smell a bit oniony for the rest of the week. Ooh, she got some fun and performance gain. Good job. And Jackson's up to it again. He wants to spend some time together. You know we work but that does not stop you. And it's every day, it's like two or three texts back to back. Um, no, I mean, your girls aren't even here. You are supposed to be like in love with someone else. No. And promoted, oh, is this your new like a work outfit? Promoted to seed scatterer. She'll now make additional two simoleons per hour for a grand total of 25 A $400 bonus. We got some starter vegetables and a garden planter box. Ooh, so now we work seven to two. And oh, okay, we are all set. We got you swiped a book and almost your birthday. So we're already in garden level four, which is what we needed. So we have a, another planter box. We can probably just pop that over here. Oh, maybe like make it sort of match the other one as best we can. There, we can grow a little bit more and then I should probably start like separating um, flowers from like vegetables. Like we, I think all of these are flowers. Okay, I moved there. We need, we still have a couple more flowers over here, but they're at the end and then we have room to plant some more. And we also have over 2,000. It's great. Okay. Let's see your, you can open seed packet and also start growing some herbs. All right. Let's do, uh, do a basil and what's this? Sage. And we got some spinach. Is that all spinach in the one we opened? Um, okay. I guess we'll, I guess we'll do two spinach. So the girls, oh yeah, you never have fun. And this one needs a bath too. Okay, we're gonna do bath time and then make dinner and then you can plant. And she actually has tomorrow off. 
Which, I mean, that works. It'll be the girls' birthdays, so we can do... We probably won't do a party, because we don't know any other toddlers. Oh, I guess we could invite over... Um... So, and there's Savannah, Sarah's daughter. Is that the only other child we know? Oh, no, we're not too good for you. You're just, like, a little much. Yeah, we only know one child, so maybe we'll invite over Sarah and Savannah and um, for, like, a mini quiet birthday party. We got some vegetable dumplings, so you're not hungry, but let's get the girls. Oh, the other one needs a bath, too. We'll do that after. So why don't we come out here and plant? We are watering everything. Oh, we can harvest our taro roots. Anything else? Oh, and bell peppers. Okay, we'll harvest everything. Oh, there's probably more to water. Might be a smart idea to have everything closer together, but I don't know. It kind of will look better. Okay, you are, you're, you're about to get your bath. Okay. Give bath to McKinley. And then you can go to sleep. Oh, I put your food away. I forgot you were hungry too. I am sorry. Here, get some dumplings. And Macy's movement level four. So how close are they on all their skills? Okay, McKinley is has maxed out imagination. And Macy has maxed out potty and thinking. Right, Jenny is very tired. Um, I kind of want you to do like another flower arrangement like super super quick like it won't it will take you no time at all we need to get a more variety of flowers because we're gonna have to start paying for some of this how about to tragic spring beautiful that is excellent let's add a vase don't go anywhere you are very tired you know maybe the the bird's nest vase that would be cute There, now we put that in your inventory and you can go to sleep. And then for your birthday, you'll get a new bed. How's, how about that? Oh, we'll probably do it at the same time I do the girls' rooms, just to keep it simple. Oh, it's a night on the town, too. Ooh, I don't know if we'll, we'll be able to go out for that, but let's make... Yeah, I do healthy stuff. Um, and I don't know if anyone else, but for me... The gourmet food toddlers just like won't eat it so we know fruit salads are healthy so let's just go with that let's get some needs taken care of both jenny and the toddlers and then there's some harvesting to do but then after that it's only 7 30 so she'll make a cake but i think we will do um like a quick yard sale and then invite sarah and savannah over for a mini party, and then it'll be the room makeover. We finally have a clean toddler again, so their needs are great. Well, you're you're now having fun. So those two will be kind of on their own, occupying themselves, learning self-sufficiency right now with um, a working parent, working single parent, and being poor. So they're doing great. They are thriving. So Jenny is just doing her chores, and then we will do our little yard sale. Oh, we can evolve now. Good. I don't really know a ton about the uh, like gardening, but evolving I know is a good thing. No, it's not letting me do the books. Okay, well, I guess we can't steal them and sell them, and that's fine. We'll try the dirty plate again. You are a regular. I don't really remember if you like uh, buy stuff ever. I know if you buy the plate, it won't it won't bother other people. I, like you think it's stinky. So maybe this plate is actually like turning people off. So um, I think I'll just wash it next time. Four hundred forty-eight. Okay, good job. Macy's communication level five. Oh, they're just trying to max out their skills before they age up. We've only sold two things so far, but it was a good chunk of money, one of them. So, can't be too mad about it. I don't think we're going to sell anything else. 
All right, yard sale's over. Let's clear the table. And you were about to start flirting with Leah. Um, we got we got things we need to do. Potty level three. Okay, you guys are just like taking care of yourself. I have not looked at your needs. Okay. Oh, you're about to go make a mess, but we need to make a cake. Um, okay, no, Noah. Let's do a little bit of parenting. We can't let them run just feral. Discipline, be firm, you know, tell them not to make a mess. I'm sorry, Leah, you have to leave. And you just made our sink dirty. I think Jenny would make a coconut cake for the toddlers. I was gonna, I want you to clean the sink before you made the cake, but you ignored me. So before we invite, invite everyone over, or our two people, we're going to clean up so this house isn't gross. I mean, Sarah never judges us, but we don't want it disgusting. Apparently our discipline did not set in immediately to making a mess. But your level four imagination. Oh, I, I completely forgot about Jackson. He should come over for the girls' birthdays. Yeah, uh, thank you for your obsessive text for, re for reminding me. Add birthday candles. We'll invite Jackson in. Um, okay, well you're already coming in. And then like let's clean up. Maybe he'll he'll help out. There you go, he's helping clean. Alright, let's clean the sink. He's gonna take care of the potty. We're tag teaming this, and then we need to clean the counter. And then it's four o'clock, and that's not bad at all. We will invite over. Okay, we got Sarah and Savannah. And um alright, I am ready to have Children and not toddlers. Oh, Sarah's calling. There's a very important question I have to ask you. Ready? So, is water wet? Um, yes. No, that's wrong. I don't even know who you are anymore. Okay, well, just come over. All right, our guests are here. Let's ask Savannah how she is. Uh, Sarah's immediately like, I'm going to take out the trash. Don't worry. I got this. I've been sick recently. Hopefully whatever it is, is gone soon. Yeah, I hope so. Don't get everyone here sick. I mean, let's check in with Sarah. Um, like, discuss fitness techniques. I bet she is pretty fit. Okay. Well, thank you for taking the dirty plates out. I'll put those in the dishwasher. And then I think we should get right to it and age up the girls. Everyone's here. Okay. McKinley will be first. She's maxed out communication, imagination, and potty, but it's four on the others. And then uh, Macy is communication, potty, and thinking, but four on the others. Okay, good job, girls. Let's go ahead and help blow out candles for McKinley. All right, before anyone takes a piece of cake, add birthday candles. And McKinley, what is she going to be like? Creative, sensitive, boring. I don't think she would be boring. I think instead of boring, let's go with a neat. Not because I want someone to clean. Not at all. And then we will go with artistic prodigy. Okay, she is cute. I noticed my sims don't age up with the, um, like... The bonus trait for getting level three or level all level five. Um, I haven't, I just kind of realized that the other day. Um, I haven't seen that in a while. Oh, you're supposed to be, um, you, come on, help blow out. Macy. Where is Macy? She's right here. Oh, Jackson's leaving. Okay, well, thank you for coming. He helped clean up a little bit. And Macy. Oh, neat. Short-tempered and animal enthusiast. I don't think we don't. Well, they're twins. They are identical. I thought their mouths were a little bit different until I was editing and went back and forth, and their faces did not change one bit. Only their hairstyle. So it would make sense that they would have at least one trait in common. I like that, but I don't picture like short-tempered. Um, Macy was the one that was getting up to a little bit of trouble with making a mess so maybe we'll go with something along in those lines i think she might be a little bit mischievous and then for her i think we're gonna go with something social we will just do social butterfly i don't think she would be like a delinquent and or a perfect angel they're super siblings but i think that works a little bit better when you have more than just one 
Because I think you have to start off with, like, not getting along, and they are, like, best friends. So let's do um, Social Butterfly. All right, let's hop into Cass, uh, and then everyone can have some cake, and they're still moving after pause, but I don't mind that. And first, we are going to actually take away a hundred bucks to pay for Jenny's laser hair removal for her arms and legs. So we will be at 2526 Let's start off with Jenny and the hair is gone. So no more shaving for her, but let's move on to McKinley. So I picture her as maybe like the little bit more girly one and absolutely adorable. Both like the girls, they're identical, but are gorgeous. So here are McKinley's outfits. Next we have Macy. And again, same face, just different hair. And here are Macy's outfits. All right, now we need to give them a bedroom. So kind of what I was planning to do was keep a few of their uh, baby stuff, uh, toddler stuff. And just, I don't I kind of picture like eventually when we get a bigger house, there'd be like a storage room because that's pretty normal in, um, in houses. And also for the next generation, like obviously we're, we are definitely not going to get a million simoleons plus a million simoleon house unless we happen to win the lottery by chance, which I think has happened like twice in my game ever. <laughs> Last time I had a lottery in my off-camera save, a dog won it. So I'm not high hopes for that. But um, yeah, and that way they, they can pull out like the old bed from you know when they were when they were a toddler and then their children can sleep in it. That kind of thing. I think that would be pretty cute. So we'll keep a few things and I'll probably even keep like the quote unquote trash cardboard dollhouse. And we'll just pick kind of like a bed. And some of the stuff can be kept as well for, um, did I accidentally sell that? Or did I put, no, I put it in the inventory. Um, but like the uh, toys and the bear can be kept for um, the kids. It would have been smart for me to think ahead to what I would want to decorate their room as, but then again, we didn't know their personalities. Um, I still have no idea, like, a theme or colors, so uh, we'll just kind of figure it out. I mean, I just, I love this wallpaper, but we're, we're not going to keep using the same one. I mean, we could go with, um, this would be cute, like, a full wall. Or actually, I think I like this base game one. And then for the flooring, we'll probably do, uh, like, a wood floor still, and then with a rug. Okay, I don't think this is terrible. We probably should get another window. Yeah, get some light. For now, I'm going to just like a put a, a wall here. Um, just, just to give them a little bit of privacy. I don't think, you know, maybe we can just like make a door instead. Um, I was gonna have it just like open, but we'll put a door. Okay, there we go. We have a door. And um, now to furnish. So, oh, we only have 956. Oh my god. I was not paying attention to how much, like, I was spending. <laughs> and it's like, I still need to get Jenny her new bed. Uh, she might have to wait until after, after she works tomorrow and hope that she gets a promotion. Because um, the girls, they need, like, some activities. Like, we have one that's creative. Um, a little toy car or like activity table. Actually, I don't feel like that fits the girls. Never mind. Um, they probably would like. I think this one is an activity table. 
So let's do that. I haven't used it. It's um this little CC one. And the other one is like kind of mischievous and but social. We do have the bear. Uh I feel like maybe a I want them to make friends, so maybe like a an activity table. We are down to 371, but I want to get them a rug. I mean, we could just like, I guess like keep this rug. But I don't feel like that's really them now. Yeah, we'll just go with that for now and can always just change it later. Um, I don't know if the girls would keep the birth certificates in their room, but um, maybe Jenny would. And then... We can bring their paintings up here. I kind of went away from their um, color scheme of yellow and blue, but that's okay. And same with like, these are kind of like a baby photo or baby type decor, baby and toddler. So we'll put that in the inventory. And then we'll change the wallpaper. I think we'll make this a little craft room for now until we kind of do more with the house okay we got 28 bucks back from that and then uh, i just want a, a couple items of decor to i don't know make it slightly nicer in here actually and so we should probably get like um this type of stuff okay we have 35 now <laughs> okay I think that is all we're doing. How much are we worth? 21,288. We went up about 4,000. But, okay, so we got, you know, some little jars. I think that was the only thing added. And then the girls' room is done for now. We got um, an activity table and some wall decor and I got mismatching chairs because they look like probably from a yard sale or something and then we'll kind of figure out what we want to put in this room we could move oh maybe we'll move the flower arranging in there although it's right next to the garden so that makes sense maybe eventually we'll have like um, kind of outdoor space but there it's like slightly covered I can't think of the word um, but yes, next time we'll have to wait and get Jenny a bed. Oops, didn't mean to go back and build by. So let's have everyone get some cake. All right, well, whoever's hungry. And then you guys need to meet Savannah so you can try to have like a friend. This one is just exhausted. So everything took a little bit longer than I was planning, like with their makeovers and um, the house. So I'm going to end this right here. A little bit more progress. There's progress every day. And we got to see the girls age up. So, and for Jenny's birthday, I was thinking about maybe everyone can go out for dinner. We can invite I mean, Savannah and Sarah again. And I'm like Sarah's husband. And then go out for like a nice meal and celebrate after she's done working because she works until pretty early 2 p.m. So they'll have the whole evening to uh, celebrate and then she'll be a full grown adult. So let me know what you think so far. Don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. Bye.